In this video, we are going to talk about some tips and strategies that will help you to subtract mentally. So this is our first set of problems that we're going to work on, and I made them somewhat easy. This is sort of level one, and we're going to get more challenging as we go through some of these problems. So let's start with this first one here, 70 minus 40. Now you'll notice that in my ones place, in both of these numbers, they're both the same. So that means that that ones place is going to be zero, okay? And then in our tens place, that's really all we have to worry about to subtract. How much is seven tens minus four tens? And so the difference between seven and four is three. So we wind up with our, an answer of 30 for this first problem. Okay, let's go down here to 32 minus 12. Again, we see that the ones place is the same, so two minus two is just going to equal zero. And then three minus one will give us two. So we wind up with 20. All of these problems on this page have the same style of formatting. So that's why I said this is sort of level one, the easier level. So when we, when we have eights here in our ones place, that's gonna give us a zero in the ones place. And now we all, all we have to worry about is the nine minus five in the tens place, and that will give us 40. Here, we don't have a tens place in this second number. So we know that the nine minus nine in the ones place is again gonna give us zero. And since we are subtracting away nothing from the tens place, from this two that's in the tens place, then we wind up with 20. Same thing here, same format. Fours in the ones place, that's gonna give us a zero. And then we just have to worry about our, our tens place, which would be 30. And then finally, we have seven and seven in the ones place. Again, that's gonna give us zero. Eight minus four is four. Okay, let's go on to the next level. These are a little bit more challenging. As you can see, we don't have the same numbers in the ones place in all of these numbers, and we don't have the same number in the tens place in all of these numbers. So let's see what we can do with this. We do have a higher number in the ones place than we do in the ones place for this number. So 72 has more ones than 40 does. So we can just mentally subtract two minus zero is two. And then seven minus four gives us three. So I'm, I'm not writing this out like this. We would normally stack our numbers when we're subtracting in this way, but I'm just sort of like picturing this problem in my mind and working on the ones place first and then the tens place. So that's what we're gonna do throughout all of these problems. So again, let's start with the ones place. This five is more than two, so we're good to go ahead and just start subtracting. So that would give us three and then three minus one is two, so we wind up with 23. All right, continuing on with that same pattern, starting with the ones place, nine minus eight is one, nine minus five is four, so we wind up with 41. Here we have 30 minus nine. Now, in this one, the ones place is not larger than the ones place in this number, but we can think about this in a regrouping sense. So a lot of times when we are stacking these numbers and subtracting, we would take away from the three and make that a two and make this zero a 10. So that's what I'm kind of doing mentally. I wrote it out here, of course, just to show you kind of what I'm picturing inside my mind. But I know that when I'm taking away more in the ones place, that this tens place is going to go down. So you might even wanna start with that. Since we know that this three is now going to become a two, I can go ahead and write that two in the tens place. And then I know that I have 10 here to subtract nine, which gives me one. Okay, 66 minus 34, we're gonna start at the ones place. Six minus four is two, and then six minus three is three. Here we have nine minus seven, that's two, and then eight minus four is four, okay? So that was level two, a little bit more challenging than the first level. Now we're gonna go to level three. These are even more challenging. So this is when we have a lot of regrouping. So in a lot of these problems, the ones place in the first number is going to be smaller than the ones place 
in the second number. So I'm going to give you a couple of different strategies for how to think about these numbers so that you can subtract them mentally without having to write them out and stack them. Okay, let's start with 74 minus 40. I actually have a larger number here in the ones place than I do in the ones place of this number, so I can go ahead and subtract like I normally would, and then 7 minus 4 is 3. Okay, that one was pretty easy. But now let's talk about 31 minus 12. So one way to think about this is, what if this was 32 minus 12? So let's think about that for a moment. 32 minus 12 is a lot like those problems that we did in level one, where we have the same number in the ones place. So that would result in a zero in the ones place, and then we could subtract the tens place. Three minus one is two, right? So 32 minus 12 gives us 20. But 31 is one smaller than 32, right? So this one is one smaller or one less than 32. So then that means that our answer is going to be one less than what we would get here. So then for this answer, this would actually equal 19. So one less here and one more here. So this is basically what I just did. I added one to make this problem easier for myself to do in my head. And then when I had to go to my answer, I had to subtract that one back away. So first we added one to make it a little bit easier, but then we have to remember to subtract that one from our answer to uh, reflect what we actually had in our original problem. Let's take a look at another one and try that same method. Okay, so 95 minus 58. Hmm, what would I have to add to this one's place in order to make this one's and this one's be the same? So I would have to add three to this number in order to get it to have the same one's place number in the first number that I'm subtracting from. So 95 plus three is 98. So now I can kind of think of this as 98 minus 58, okay? So this is a little bit easier for us. Our eights we know are going to just subtract and become zero, and then nine minus five is 40. Okay, so now let's think about how that translates back to our original problem. So if I wanna write the answer to this problem, I have to subtract away that three that I added in in the first place. So, from here to here, I need to subtract three. So 40 minus three, think of your tens. If we go three down, right? So 10 minus three gives us seven. So then that means that this would be a seven here and a three here because it has to be lower. 37 is three away from 40. Okay, so let's try these three problems a little bit differently, somewhat of the same process, but instead of adding to the first number, we're going to subtract from the second number. And then you can decide which method you like best and which method works better for you. So let's see, we want these ones place to be the same number, right? So what can I subtract away from nine in order to give me seven. Well, I would subtract two away from nine, right? So then that would give me 27 minus seven. So again, the goal with this first step is to get those ones places to be the same number. So 27 minus seven equals 20. But let's think about what we actually did here. We didn't take away enough when we took away seven. We start with 27 and we want to take away nine, but we actually only took away seven. So we took away two less than what we should have. So that means that we should be taking away two more from this number. So when we go back, up here, we're actually subtracting two away from this number again, which will give us 18. Now I don't want that to get confusing because here we added and then subtracted. So it's like we did the opposite. We added three and then subtracted three. Here, when we are 
adjusting the second number, because we're not taking away as much, that's why we have to take away just a little bit more to get to the actual answer. We're gonna do a few more problems with this method. And again, you, then you can choose which method works best for you and how you like to solve these problems. Okay, so again, let's focus on this second number. We're looking at the ones place for both of these numbers. So how much would I have to subtract from this four in order to bring it down to two? I would have to subtract two again. So now my new numbers that I'm subtracting mentally is 62 minus 32, right? 34 minus two is 32. So now this one's a lot easier for me to solve mentally. So 62 minus 32 are twos are gonna give me a zero there. Six minus three is three, okay? So remember up here, we didn't subtract away enough. We need to subtract away another two from this number. So when we go back to write our answer, we're matching these two. So 30 minus two, we just go down two more from 30, that gives us 28. All right, let's try that again on this last problem. So I'm looking at my four and my seven. How much would I have to subtract away from this seven to make it equal to four? I'd have to subtract away three. So now what I can do mentally is 84 minus 44, and that gives us 40, right? Because we've got fours equal zero, and then eight minus four is four. And now I have to match that subtraction of two, sorry, not two, three. Subtraction of three, these should match because I didn't take enough away to match this original problem. So 40 minus three is 37. Okay, I hope that that was helpful for you in learning some new tips and strategies for subtracting mentally. Please let me know what you think of this video and I will see you in the next one.